Good morning. Welcome to St. Joseph's Catholic Community. Today we celebrate the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. This morning's Mass is being offered for Laura Rush. A few friendly reminders before we begin the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. First, this morning we would like to welcome the Welsh family. Uh, Molly Jane will be baptized at Mass today. All Please remember to uh, silence your cell phones and electronic devices. And this morning, if you are going to receive Holy Communion on the tongue, please come to the center sections as Father and I will be the only ones distributing on the tongue. Please turn and face the font. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear parents and godparents, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares your happiness. Christ will be increased, and we offer our support in raising your child in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and her family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. My dear parents, what name do you give your child? Molly Jane. What do you ask of God's church for Molly? Baptism. She may love the Lord and her neighbor as Christ has taught us to do. Do you understand this responsibility? Godparents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty? Molly Jane, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you, I sign in the name of the cross of Christ our Savior, that after me, your parents and godparents may also sign her.
us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and Spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. in sacrifice and offering, but in an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and sin offering. Then I said, Behold, I have a book. It stands written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your instruction lies deep within me. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. I come. Your uprightness I have proclaimed. 
proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, you know it, O Lord. Here I am, Lord, here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from our God and Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and dwelt among us. To those who have accepted him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, on whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So 
So Sean and Kara, you'll have to uh, let Molly Jane know years from now that the gospel was just preparing for baptism for, well, on the day that she was baptized. In our gospel, we see John with his many disciples. Many thought John was the Messiah. We hear John witnessing to his disciples and sharing his testimony about Jesus. John makes it clear who Jesus is and who he, John, is not. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John is testifying that Jesus is the one promised. John is also revealing several key things about who Jesus is and what he is to do. By saying he was born after me but existed before me, John is testifying to Jesus' divinity. Jesus as both God and man. Jesus is the word that existed and was present at the beginning. Jesus as the lamb who will be sacrificed, God's sacrifice for us. And he would take on sin, all sin. Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John proclaims it, his followers believe it. His followers leave him and follow Jesus. They go home and tell their families and friends, and their family and friends come and follow Jesus. John is the first witness to Jesus, declaring who he is, declaring and witnessing to his divinity. John's testimony is an example for all of us, an example of what we must all do. We are to point to and witness to Jesus, the Savior, the points his followers to Christ. That is also what we all are to do, especially the clergy and the leaders of the church. We have to be sure we point and lead people to Christ, not to us. It is Jesus, not Father John, not Deacon Joe, not Father Armando, not Deacon Mike. We must not make it about us. Many leaders can fall in the trap and get caught up with the thought of people following and admiring and lauding them. We must all point to and direct our witness to Jesus. This is one of the reasons we wear vestments. The priest Alb and Chasuble cover who he is. It is an act of humility to cover so as to allow Christ to be seen. That is a lesson for all of us. We must decrease and let Jesus increase. Let Jesus shine through us. We are servants like John that point the way to Jesus and the way to salvation. You must hold us to that. Many of you also will have the joy of having disciples. You will have people who look up to you, who admire you, who might even look on you as their hero. These people might be your children. They might be your students, your patients, your clients, your fellow parishioners. When you find yourselves in this position, remember the example of St. John the Baptist who led his disciples to one greater than himself. Make sure you witness for Christ, especially when people look up to you. It is a tricky balance. Often we may not want to allow people to see us as the church because we are human with failings and if we allow their view of church to be dependent on their view of us, they're going to be disappointed. They may be disillusioned. But we need to be speaking and witnessing to what God has called us to do. Knowing that we will fail, knowing that we have flaws, not pretending that we have figured it all out and have it right, but rather witnessing that Jesus does not have flaws and failings, and he loves us, and them, despite failings and flaws. We need to lead others to Christ and encourage them to seek his mercy and love. We need to be giving all glory to God, glory for our work, our success, and our achievements. We need to allow him to shine through us. When people see us, they need to see the face of Christ. We can then take a lesson from St. Mother Teresa, who when a reporter saw her ministering to a poor, wretched, dirty soul, full of sores and lying in his own filth in the gutters of Calcutta, he told her, 
He would not do that for a million dollars. Mother Teresa looked at him and said, neither would I. She did it for Christ. She did it so that person would know Christ and know his love. When we decrease and allow Christ to increase in us, we and those around us increase spiritually. When we give away what we have, we gain that which is internal. When we are humble and selfless, God exalts us. And when we serve others, God reward, rewards us with greater presence in our lives. This is made even more important. when We have someone coming to be baptized, Molly Jane, where we have to point every day to Christ as a community and lead her to understand who she is as a child of God. As it says in Isaiah, you are my servant through whom I show my glory. Let yourself be God's instrument and say to the Lord, as in our Psalm, I come to do your will. I will announce your justice in the vast assembly. I do not restrain my lips. Show Christ's love, but do not take credit. Do not increase yourselves. Give all the glory to God who must increase in our lives. Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for her parents and godparents and all the baptized. For Francis R. Pope, William, the Archbishop of Baltimore, and all the clergy, that they may faithfully shepherd the people entrusted to their care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. For those being baptized in our parish this Sunday on the sacrament, they may live their lives as faithful disciples of the Lord Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those attending the March for Life this week, that the Lord may protect them and enable them to be a bear faithful witness to the image of God in every human life, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for the sick and bereaved, and for the captives and those in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For the faithful departed of this parish and for all who have departed this life in the hope of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits through Christ our Lord. Let us now call upon the saints, our ancestors in the faith, that their lives will be inspired for us of the way of living our own life. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, Pray for us, all you angels of God. Pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray for us, Saint John the Baptist. 
Baptist, pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. Saint Sean Molly Moore, pray for us. Saint Jane Francis, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Almighty, ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race, rescued from darkness, into the marvelous kingdom of your light. We humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make her the temple of your, your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in her through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the same Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O oh God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O oh God, who caused the ch children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O oh God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood. And after his resurrection, commanded his disciples... Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son so that human nature, created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism, from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through the water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son in the fullness of this font so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to be mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church, in which children are baptized. I now invite all to stand as together we profess our faith. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. 
This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Parents and godparents, is it your will, therefore, that Molly, Molly Jane should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you? Yes. Come on. <laughs> um, if you could hold her. Molly Jane, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My friends, this is our new sister. Let us welcome her into the faith community with joyous affirmation. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, giving you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, unto eternal life. Molly Jane, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example bring it unstained into eternal life. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to keep burning brightly so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of light and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in heavenly court. May the Lord Jesus, who made the death here and the faith with your lips, to the glory and praise of God the Father. <laughs> Let us profess back down. Can I take this little one? Yeah. Okay, let's go down. Come on. Let's go. Come. You can do it. We'll go down. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, sweetie. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everything's good. <laughs> Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Shout with joy to God, all the earth. Sing a psalm in honor of his name. Come and hear all you who fear God. And I will tell you what great things the Lord has done for my soul. Alleluia.
Jesus has shown benignly forth, Redeemer of the tribes of earth. Let all the faithful far and near the praises of his deeds declare. Three decades having circled round since to himself our flesh impurity. See how he trembles, blessed John, who must in water wash that one whose blood shall be the mighty mean to a father's mandate from the skies his noble sonship testifies the spirit's power upon his head in plenitude of grace is shed. O Christ with voices full of prayer we ask the divine make clean our lives make bright our minds. O Christ, O life, O truth to you, all praise forevermore is due. The Father Spirit shine on you from heavenly light Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, 
Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished a marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. And we ask a special blessing for Laura Rush. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other some sign of Christ.
Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Surprise! 
Say 
taste and see the goodness of Help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few announcements here. First of all, congratulations to Molly Jane and her family on this wonderful day when she joined our community. <laughs> Sign up to attend this year's March for Life in Washington, D.C. on Friday, January 20th. If you're not able to attend that, you can sign up and spend time in the chapel that day for Prayer for Life. Details online. Our Knights of Columbus will be in the narthex passing out bottles for the annual baby bottle campaign in support of the Pregnancy Center in Carroll County. Dinner and a movie night returns on Saturday, January 21st. Join for a spaghetti dinner and to watch The Bad Guy. Not to talk to them about that. <laughs> Sign up in the Cassidy Center or online. Due to some unforeseen staffing circumstances, we will not be able to send annual giving statements to all parishioners. We apologize for the inconvenience. If you would like to receive the statement to assist you with your taxes, please go to our website to request a statement, and we will prepare one and send to you by January 31st at the latest. Please know that we truly appreciate all of your donations and your understanding in this matter. The Lord be, the Lord be with, with... Oh, okay. The Lord all, God Almighty, through His Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mother of this child, so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with her in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife they may, by word and example, proved to be the first witnesses of faith to their child in Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ending. Go in peace, witnessing to the gospel with your lives. <laughs> Stands in the Jordan stream to pray. Now John fulfills his childhood call and watches sanctified for all. For he who needs no cleansing right is shown baptized to human sight and by fulfilling all God's will shall bear the load of this world's ill the heavenly Father's voice is heard this is my only son.
Sorry.